You ready with your notes? Yep. Did you get your, um, Taylor had to send you something? Yeah, um, okay. the template for yeah. it, I okay. got that. Okay. Good to know. So, okay. Welcome, everyone. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Let's call our meeting to order. Um, second. Uh, yes, sure. <laughs> I'll second that. Okay. <laughs> and... Agree. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to the next point on our agenda, which is review and act on the minutes of August 14, 2023 and September 18, 2023. Did you get a chance to look over everything? Mm -hmm. Were you yeah. able to open them? The one thing that I did note that I don't have Kubra's last name. It's and Mohammadi. M O H A M N. A D I N M O H A M N M M M M D I R Okay. I R I Thank you. Yeah. I just wanna make sure I get so we have to approve them with an edit, I guess, because I need to add the last That's name fine. There. That's all. Mm -hmm. And there's one more edit. Um it's I S W. I don't know why it changes to I S O W. Oh, okay. So That's what it was. Okay, ISW. Um, I will. It's called like India Society of Worcester. Oh, because the O of is mm -hmm. not capital. There's not, no O. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. It's just ISW. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So let's go to the next one. So, no, we have to what? Act on the minutes. So, everybody. So you want to take a motion uh, to approve the minutes? I'll take a motion to, I will make a motion to approve the minutes as amended. So much a second. I will second that motion. And then you'll say all in favor. All in favor? Aye. Aye, okay. Everybody in favor, okay. You can put everybody's name down. We have a short You can list. just say unanimous. Yeah. Okay. Okay, let's go to point number three, which is new business. Review and discuss planning for the community forum event with Dr. Noor Ali. Now, I don't have any update on that. Does yeah, anybody else I have? I think Adiola did. Okay. Because that was Adiola's idea. Hmm. Okay. So I think we will uh, re-review it in the next month's agenda, I guess. Mm, I think so. We can move forward yeah, with it. Yeah, I don't know any I updates. I have no idea. Okay. That was fast. <laughs> Let's go to old business, point number four. So first one is review and discuss the logo contest dates. Yeah. Um, so I have an update. I emailed Taylor to find out if there were any submissions. There were no submissions yet. Yeah. And November 4th is like not that far away. So we should think about changing the deadline yeah. again. Mm -hmm. And she will uh, republish it and uh, reach out to the schools and- And we can- promote it at the multicultural festival on November 4th. Yes. More thoroughly than. Correct. So, so like, do we leave it open-ended or do we have an end date? Because I think, it's a contest. I think having an end date like end of December, early January, and then we vote on it at like the first meeting in January or something, because that gives people enough time to hear about it in November, work on their submission, submit it and then it gives us enough time to get submissions and get the word out there because now some people already know about it a little bit it's already on the website so now if like someone thought oh i missed the deadline i couldn't submit now they have there was one more thing months. it was coming to my mind sorry mm -hmm. for interrupting i was yeah. wondering if there is a prize maybe people are more motivated even if it's like if we can get a sponsor or maybe or like if we the prize is winning. One of the things. That's what we had taught. That's what we had taught. Yeah. Like, you know, but if we have no, not even a single submission. Or if, like, a prize of, like, here's the certificate saying that you did this. Recognition. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So has it been publicized to any of the schools, like the middle school art? I? The, like, the, to art students at the high school? I, I so. don't know. Taylor um, said that with the next one, she would start to do that, but I don't think that had been part of it yet. Um, 
So when um, so I'm part of the Rotary Club, and when we needed a logo for our community fridge, um, we sent the information about the logo contest to all the right. the schools. So we did yeah. Alhamra and the high school and Oak. Yeah. So that there was an opportunity for we decided eighth grade like seventh and eighth grade yeah. and up like nothing younger than that yeah so that's why we chose those schools and there the winning the winner was um an oak middle school student yeah because i also think that i know that we had put in the rules that like anyone in shrewsbury can submit but i think not that i think that's a bad idea in like the spirit of it was diversity inclusion belonging like anyone should be able to submit but like things like logo contests like what would a person that is like what would the motivation for someone that is a working adult be to submit the logo whereas a high school kid or a middle school kid be like oh i want the piece of paper that says that i did this because then I get to put the piece of paper next to all my other pieces of paper that say I did things. Like, <laughs> kids yes. love, like, I'm not a kid anymore, and I still love getting pieces of paper that say I did things. <laughs> um, Your point is uh, valid. Adults may not yeah. be interested. Well, I like that it's still an open process, even if we do some targeted recruitment. Yes. Yeah. And I think a deadline is important, and I wouldn't put the deadline past mid-December yeah because then it just gets lost yeah with the holidays mm -hmm. yeah and I think we feel so like December 15th is yeah. the last possible we can always reopen it if we need to but some yeah. sort of motivation within to, this year yeah <laughs> yes and we can vote on it at the first meeting in January there's another thing we, we are not sure when we are meeting in December right October and November and December so we should check those dates because we want to be able to look at it as a group yeah, I think if we like look at it as a group in January and vote on it then, that may also make sense too, Correct. depending on when the mm -hmm. meeting in December is, because then we'll have more time to... We so do I have week. your meetings in my calendar as mm -hmm. November 13th and December 11th. Correct. And January 8th. And it, you, you're all the way booked out in yeah. February. You're the, basically, you're the second Monday of every month. Correct. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The only reason we changed the past two months was because of special Yeah, so you're definitely things. booked out. Mm -hmm. So what I mean is, should we change instead of December 15th? How uh, it be due December 8th? And mm, then that's a Friday, yeah. Mm -hmm. It still gives plenty of opportunity. Yeah. yeah. Right? Yeah, and then we can have a conversation. Yeah. Okay, so the new deadline is December 8th. Mm hmm so we can review it at least in December, hopefully, or if we need to re Extend. adjust the date. Yeah, yeah we yeah. can. And so. then we can figure out more specifically what the fancy piece of paper that we give to whoever wins would look like. There's plenty of templates online for like, I graduated Fifth grade. I'm like, sure we can. Taylor can put something together. Too. Yeah, like yeah, we for can. Sure. We have little uh, certificate holders too that we have that we use. Yeah. For proclamations and things. But uh, would it be a good idea to find any sponsors if there is for uh, giving an award? Well, I mean, I think if you're d depending on what you would like to give for a prize, I'm sure that we could find a way to generate some funds for that. Yeah. yeah. I think really our difficulty has been getting it to the right people. Yeah. Not necessarily the... That they have no incentive to do it. Even incentive. there's an art uh, club or something. Uh, I know Senior right. Citizen has yeah. uh, art classes. Mm -hmm. Maybe we should, like, put That's a great idea. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. because they'll be interested. Yes, yeah. like, also, like... All the art I'm teachers. thinking of, like, kids in high school who are seniors or juniors, if they won the art contest and are looking to go to, like, an art school, yes. like, that could be part of their That's portfolio was, yeah. for applications mm -hmm. and stuff and... That's always a like, highlight. Hey, yeah. I designed mm -hmm. a logo for this town thing. So maybe Please we should me. target the art teachers, you know, yeah. the art mm -hmm. department at the schools yeah. and just send That's them what that. I did. Yeah. 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 Okay. That sounds like a plan. And then is there someone who could make a handout for us about the logo contest to have at the table at the multicultural event? We could, oh, yeah, we could print I out. I can make one on uh, Canva 
and I can send it to Taylor if she's okay. This we can use it for the okay. Because yeah. that would be I think a good advertisement, right? We, yeah, we mm -hmm. could al we should also probably just have like just one printed copy or a few printed copies of just the guidelines themselves, like all yes, because yes, the guideline making the guidelines like in Canva would be. We see. can make as an attachment, or maybe we can put the QR code for this or the QR uh, code for think, our website. Yeah, mm -hmm. and it can lead you right there. Yeah. Right. Okay. But we need something tangible. So, so, so they can to give the, the QR way. code away. Taylor can make you the little QR code first. Yeah. With yeah. the QR code to what it mm -hmm. is. I mean, she did that first. Yeah. Mary Shrewsbury. If you ask mm -hmm. her, I'm sure she'll do it for you. And a link right to your website. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But you know, logo contest. Yeah. Like a flyer. New deadline. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And New deadline. Okay. Yeah. Open to all. <laughs> yep. Here's the QR code for details. Click here. Okay. And this brings me to the w question about the multicultural festival, like, because the QR code for the logo contest, but we should probably also just have like a QR code to the, because we're still trying to get the town to know what the, and who the DEIB committee is. So if we just get a QR code that we can just put on the table at the multicultural festival, it's just to the town website for us like so not what directly. I'm thinking is um, the QR code that's going to be made out it's going to go to the DEIB page oh uh, yeah and everything is housed there including mm -hmm. our contest yeah. okay so we don't need to do two, two courses. different yeah you're right so that way we have awareness that's mm -hmm. that's the landing page if you will yeah yeah no I get that so that would uh, be yeah I think I was just confused about whether it was just one straight to the logo contest and then one straight to the page but yeah no our page sense. does not have too much clutter it's, <laughs> it's not very hard to find if you yeah. have been to the page it's very easy to find us mm -hmm. yeah so i think it's it's simple and cute right now <laughs> yes <laughs> let's keep it that way <laughs> so people can find us right <laughs> so that's a good point so yeah so we should have enough qr codes to cover for the multicultural too mm -hmm. Okay, going to the next one, which is review and discuss planning for multicultural festival. So again, that's me, I guess. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you. Yeah. <laughs> so the update we got was from Holly. Uh, so we have divided the work, right? What yes. I understand is. Want to <clears throat> explain? Sure, that? event is going ahead on November 4th at Oak Middle School. There is a um, good balance between some display tables and performances. And mm -hmm. so the the focus will be the actual presentations that people will be giving. And it's our first one, so it's a good chance to come, try, check it out. What I don't recall is whether we got a table for ourselves. We did, Cynthia okay. has booked a table for us. Great. And uh, we don't know what we're putting up there. <laughs> right. <laughs> So what are we doing on the table? Do we have any games? Are we thinking of um, handing out anything? Or I think we should still have the stickers left over from yeah. Spirit of Shrewsbury. Okay. I don't know how many crafts were left because those went pretty quickly. Yeah, crafts there were going weren't any. Fast, and yeah. therefore, um, there weren't any crafts things, left right? when I helped pack up at the end of the day. So there were some. There were not any. Oh, okay. Crafts left. Okay. There was just the stickers. They kept flying away in the wind. <laughs> mm -hmm. They did reduce the time of the event. So I believe mm -hmm. it's from 12 to 3, I think. Yes. Let me look that up. And the tables that were registered were 17. I think the performances are spread out throughout the day. And I think Taylor reached out to them and gave them a time slot because a couple of my friends are performing. So I knew <laughs> because of mm -hmm. that, when they're performing and all that. Um, so the performances are in the gym. I think, but the tables are going to be also over there, right? Mm -hmm. And what are we doing in the cafeteria now? I think we were condensing it okay, so that it wasn't too spread out. So we are not using the auditorium. That's what my understanding is. Mm -hmm. And there are enough opportunities for people to sign up. So we wanted to make sure that our tables are housed by people. So that's a three hour yeah. slot. Mm -hmm. um, if anybody wants to sign up, uh, we can write down the name so that because it's on November 4th. 4th. Which is I'm 
definitely available that day, but I'm not available before one just because I get out of something like right at noon and stuff. So I need time to not be in my exercise clothes from that. So it's okay. So you can <laughs> mm -hmm. be there at one? I can definitely be there at one, yeah. So one to three or one to one two? Um, I could do either or. I'm flexible. Okay. And we need a friend. Ready? Are you available November 4th, 12 to uh, 3? Actually, I'm not sure because maybe I might have like TOEFL test. Mm -hmm. and you maybe. can check your schedule and let us know. It's okay. Uh, okay. I just think that if we are there, at least if we are running around, like I have volunteered to do yeah, you're work with the vol volunteers. Yeah. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. So I'll be running around, so I may not be able to sit on the table. Yeah. Uh, so we'll need somebody from the DIB committee. Try to get there more closer to like 12, 30 rather than one. I just know that martial That's arts. That's okay. We have seven, six, seven people. Yeah, there's other people on the committee. Okay. Uh, yeah. It's okay to, to send a text and ask doesn't violate open meeting law to yeah. send somebody a text and ask them about availability for this table. And that's, yeah. I would recommend that. Okay. One of you. like Yeah, I'll do that. Yeah. I'll, send, I'll send the, hey, and we definitely need coverage Cynthia of the table. Cynthia is not available that day. I'm not, because we have an a I know. event. <laughs> You're not there. Cynthia is not there. Yeah. So the rest of us, that's what. And I'm volunteering for the volunteers, so right. I'll see. I don't know what uh, what is You're needed and what is the not. Event, correct? Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm sorry. The, aren't you both event organizers of this? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. So you're not going to be able to man the table. Yes. Yeah. Correct. <laughs> okay. So we will follow up on that. Mm -hmm. So you're doing that, Holly, right? I will follow up. Okay. Anything else for multicultural festival? So we are doing stickers, we are doing barcodes or the QR code. Anything else? Um, what crafts did you do at Spirit of Shrewsbury? They were sunflowers and they were spreading seeds of kindness. So and they were not ours, they were Selco's, I think. Right? No, those were ours. I they ordered them. Yeah. You did? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, I did. It's okay. Should we do, should you do something again? Like yeah, yeah. I, they were popular. I can get those again. I just worked through Taylor to do that. Okay. Because Taylor asked me, you're out of it. Do you need more? I'm like, yeah, sure. I didn't know that. <laughs> Who's doing what? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe that's why. That's why the void. No problem. So sunflowers, is this the same thing you want to order or something different? They were popular. Let's okay. go with what worked. Yeah. What, what all was there? Sunflowers and? Oh, it was just the sunflowers and the stickers, and I think we had plenty of stickers left. Oh, okay. yeah, there were so plenty stickers of stickers left. Yeah. Through Amazon? No, Oriental Trading. Just some work. Um, since it's a multicultural kind of thing, I, I can put some uh, um, regional stuff if you want. I can have some dias, I can have, have some mm -hmm. rangolis, coloring papers I can bring. Um, maybe I can send them to uh, Taylor to print mm -hmm. out and mm -hmm. we can put some crayons. Yeah. Because yeah. mm -hmm. uh, there are a lot of like zen kind mm -hmm. of yeah. things we can. So I know that, that coloring be. pages are always a big hit mm -hmm. with. Yes people even click connect the dots if you connect the dot yeah. and something forms and you color it in kids are i don't know like, it's like a jackpot for them yeah <laughs> the spirit of shrewsbury the selco booth had the like color in the town hall thing and like that was awesome <laughs> i like coloring <laughs> okay so that looks at least our table is not empty empty yeah okay and uh, do we get a banner for that like we can just put Tamar of Shrewsbury or something, at least, you know, we have some. Who else is there from the town? Is are you? I don't know the So list. the Senior Center, Departments of Rec, those are the two that are helping on the actual planning. So there's okay. probably the Shrewsbury banner is probably available, right? Yeah. Wasn't there something that was used as Spirit of Shrewsbury? Yeah, it was the Shrewsbury banner. We all met in one table. Right. Which yeah. made a lot of sense. Here we might be a little bit spread out. Mm. Maybe we can house. But I'm saying, like, whatever yeah. banner. Yeah. Yeah. Again, through Taylor? 
Yeah, let's ask Taylor if there's a banner that we can that you can use, because there's no tents. It's just a table. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How do you put it? You don't have stands for them or for the banners, right? Wouldn't it be like the ones that go on the table, or is that not what it? You could also <laughs> also just make a sign. If yeah. yeah. If we can't. If Taylor sign. doesn't have something, we'll just make a sign. We'll make a sign. Just make a sign. Yeah. Yeah, we have to put that as a backup. Okay. I mean, I guess it depends. If you're in the gym at Oak and you're up against the bleachers, you might be able to tape the banner up. Yeah, but, but so one side not, they're they're mm -hmm. keeping the bleachers closed, and one side they're leaving the bleachers as audiences. And right in front of them are the performers. Mm -hmm. So where are the tables going then? <laughs> I think a because a sign can be either propped up against the bleachers or put on the table. So like, a sign seems like the good choice. Correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we'll come up with something. A piece mm -hmm. of poster board, some markers. Yeah. Um, okay, let's go to the next one. So we are done with multicultural. Hope to see most of us there. Um, the third point C is review and discuss planning for Juneteenth 2024. Um, what I looked at uh, the meeting uh, minutes from last time, it said that there were two people on the committee and uh, what I understand is, yeah, right, yeah, okay. And who were the two people? Oh, um, Adiola and Cynthia, I believe. Yes, great. So they will okay. be following up. Or okay, so that's done. Let's go to the next one. D. Review and discuss possibility of getting both at ISW events. Um, We have to be the first one to respond to whenever they have an advertisement that they're doing supplements. That's how it's going to be because mm -hmm. they change precedence every year. Their their whole committee changes, so it's hard to tell someone to be mm -hmm. on yeah. top of it. We yeah. have to be on top of it. Yeah. So they don't have anything right now. They have dances and stuff like that happening. So mm -hmm. if something comes up, I'll reach out and let okay. us know if we are on board or not. That's terrific. Thank you for being that connection and seeing that come through. Okay, so now the last one, or maybe the second last one, review and discuss inclusion events for March 2024. And that's the disability awareness yeah. event that was scheduled um, by another group that we were invited to participate in. I have an update for that. Okay. Let me just find that email. Uh, Cynthia was not coming, so she had emailed me. Perfect. Um, so the person who was doing it has stepped down for some reasons. Mm. And sh that person is going to be still active, but it's going to be not, it's been postponed basically. Mm. Uh, she was planning for March, it has been postponed, and she will oh, let us know. Yeah, there were some reasons. Mm -hmm. So that's that's all the update I have mm -hmm. for that. Yeah. So we'll have to revisit it next uh, next time if we ha hear any updates from them. Mm -hmm. And uh, is there any other that's not on the agenda? Do we want to discuss anything? I did want to just maybe put on the agenda for next time, like potentially talking about trying to do some kind of pride event in mm -hmm. June, which is part of why I decided not to be on the Juneteenth committee because I'd want to work on the pride event. Um, so I don't have any like ideas at this point. I just wanted to make sure that it got onto the agenda for next time so that we could discuss stuff and I can come up with some basic like understanding of like I already have a basic understanding of what goes on at Pride events but like it so just look into more specifics about what would in Shrewsbury go to a Pride event and stuff like that that's a like, fantastic I, idea I, I think it's a great idea yeah. just, mm -hmm. I don't know like being with my high school friend and she was like yeah no 
I wish Shrewsbury would do this. Nah, Shrewsbury's never going to do something like this. And I'm like, wait a second, I, I, I can... I could make that happen. Awesome. <laughs> you have the power. <laughs> like, if I don't say anything, maybe Shrewsbury will never do something like this, so I'm going to make sure I say something because another Shrewsbury resident has mm-hmm. expressed interest. <laughs> I think that's a great idea. I think, uh, Freddie, for next time, we'll put it in the agenda, and we should have something thought about. Uh, mm-hmm. Everybody should like yeah. do some research and try to find out what they can do and maybe make a subcommittee. Yeah. Well, that way you can, it's not falling off the agenda, then it stays in the yeah. agenda and you're mm-hmm. always working on it bit yeah. by bit and you're ready for June. Yeah. Before we know, June was here last time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, that's a good idea. Any other things? I just wanted to, again, say that I, will, I won't be here the next November, December, January um, because of maternity leave. So we need to be very... Um, intentional about making sure we have quorum yeah i'll be back in february all things going well so for quorum i had a question um since taylor is not here and taylor is the one who's being informed that they are not coming how would taylor convey to us like i know cynthia has told me cynthia also sent an email which i checked thankfully saying that pankaj has seen that I don't know where he said it, but that he's not being going mm-hmm. to be here today. So I what I mean is everybody should be like telling this someone. might be a harder cause thing to check, but I know that the Google calendar agenda item, like you can res- RSVP to it and say, yes, I'm coming or no, I'm not coming. But I don't, I don't know that it didn't just auto select that. So like you'd have to be intentional about being like oh wait i can't make it am i selected to make it because i selected yes to one or something like that i mean typically if you're not going to be president at a meeting you need to let the chair know yeah mm-hmm. and the chair is supposed to be the one who figures out whether or not there's going to be a quorum mm-hmm. and lets okay. other members know if there isn't going to be yeah okay so maybe we should put that in the agenda because people if are not here they wouldn't know yeah know what the I would say reminder are. for yes. quorum yeah and I also just think too like yeah. you guys you your committee can't do work if you're not present mm-hmm. so I think it's really difficult you know there were several items on the agenda that there's no one here who has ownership of them yeah mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's not fair to the members who are present at every meeting when there are people who are consistently absent from meetings mm-hmm. um, and this committee is only going to be as strong and as active as you know, you're able to be it. by yeah. people who are here. So I think it's it's frustrating. I th- I think to be yeah. here and not be able to get your work done. Mm-hmm. Yeah, last month felt great. Right, got a lot. Last done. month was a great meeting. Everyone yeah. was here. Yeah. Everyone was engaged. That was only yeah. twice that has happened. We have full yes. quorum. Right. Yeah. And I will say that is extremely unusual. This is the only board that, or our committee rather, that this is the attendance is an issue. This does not happen on other committees. So I would love any assistance in sort of helping to share that message with people that it's important yeah. to be mm-hmm. here. Because um, I think, Beth, one thing that you said a while back was that, like, since we are the diversity committee, we need to not use, like, tradi- not, not use, but, like, traditional means of, like, enforcement of attendance that, like, don't, maybe aren't the most diverse for disability or what have you but like there is like I think we need to just continually remind ourselves and each other like we're not doing like we're not doing like three strikes you're out type thing because we're the diversity inclusion committee and we want to be more inclusive to people that that gives like anxiety to and stuff Mm -hmm. but like no that's a really good point mm -hmm. and i mean to your point that's why we have this option of remote participation and Mm -hmm. even you know you're talking about like i'll be on maternity if you wanted to sure if you were able to um participate remotely that's completely an option for you and um you know i think that speaks to our our looking to be inclusive you just need to let let taylor know right and let the chair know okay i'm going to participate remotely for a however long yeah yeah um you know that that's for anyone if you weren't feeling yeah. well right you could do that mm-hmm. um so we should definitely use those tools we, so that we can has a life i understand cut down on 
and we changed the date. That also was uh, decided long before. We didn't yeah. change it at the last minute. No, it's, yeah. I mean, your meetings yeah. are the second, for the most part, the second yes. Monday yeah. of every month at right. 6.30. So people yeah, need so. to get those on their calendar recurring and make them. So maybe we should make it a point in every agenda or maybe even Taylor sends a reminder she that does. this is. She does send reminders. No, to yeah. put this, that please inform the chair oh, about your yeah. absence. Please inform me mm -hmm. and the chair about your absence. Yeah, yeah not just mm -hmm. me or just Yeah, because mm -hmm. like, for example, the chair is absent. And if the chair is not mobile yeah. or whatever, last mm -hmm. minute, she's not checking yeah. her phone. And how do we come to know? We'll just be sitting here for yeah. <laughs> How many so, minutes do we wait until we wait for the quorum? I'm telling you, this. This doesn't is happen. So unusual. There is no attendance policy for boards and committees. It's this is because <laughs> they is show up. Yeah. Very yeah. unusual. I'm sorry. And it's certainly something that that we've been struggling with, right? Yeah. Like, how do you address it in a yeah. way that allows people to participate, but also drives home how important it is to be at meetings? And yeah, this is a yeah. volunteer mm -hmm. position. It's not like, like we all want it to be here, right? I know mm -hmm. that I'm. Like, I know I come to this committee and not, so you might not know this about me, but I'm very like, oh, I have a commitment. Yes. I can't make it. I don't want to go. Don't make me go. My dad, when I was applying to this, my dad looked at me and was like, listen, Freddie, come hell or high water, you are doing this. <laughs> like, you want to hang out with your friends? You have to do this first. This comes first. Mm -hmm. Like, the only thing that might come first aside from this is school but even then like mm -hmm. this is important because it's a like it is professional thing mm -hmm. not and like not just like a kids like oh it's a football club something like that like mm -hmm. it's important and like some like one of my like feelings about the fact that some people like just aren't showing up it just feels like disheartening about it a little bit like just like maybe it's not that important to some people, which is fair, but like, I want it to be important to everyone here and to the town as a whole, because like having grown up in this town, like um, through like 2013, 2014, like specifically in terms of the legalization of gay marriage mm -hmm. and stuff, like, and through like the start and like, like of Black Lives Matter, that sort of thing. Like, it was difficult as a teenager to be like, I want to support these issues, but all I'm seeing is like all these nasty comments on the Community Advocate article about it from residents that say they're from Shrewsbury. So I feel very like not seen or like appreciated in this town because like it just like a while like before this committee even like started like a couple years ago I remember like one of the um the poetry person the person that won the poetry contest for the um black history month mm -hmm. thing wrote about um George Floyd and every like some kids parents made like a big stink about it and it in the community advocate article there was like people saying like oh yeah there was essentially a blue lives matter rally like in Shrewsbury and for me, that was like, not like, that was just like, oh, well, of course there was a Blue Lives Matter rally in Shrewsbury. And then like, now I have this opportunity to like, make this town inclusive and like, make people like help people understand why this matters. And it just feels like hard to like, see why other people wouldn't want to put everything they can into that. I'm sorry for like mm -hmm. being emotional. It's just like, that's kind of just where I'm at right now. Freddie, you have a valid point. Mm -hmm. um, I think uh, some somebody's sick, I can understand. It's, yeah. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, but I don't think so. They might have uh, opted not to come just for yeah. not being here. I think they, they are passionate about it. And mm -hmm. yeah. I think the select board does a good job of uh, yeah screening yeah. through that yeah so um, but again you're I think you're right you know people want to be here life happens yeah, yeah. and it's one of those seasons the you know chronic yeah. absences and that I think we need adults to have, not the one-off kids yeah, adults can no. fall sick and what I understand from one person who communicated that they are not well and they don't want to be coughing here on oh no of, of course not. I don't no, know no I agree and but like 
Remote option. Remote yeah. Exactly. The only thing you can't do is chair a meeting remotely, so you would have to do it if yeah. it was the chair. But. And that's why I chose that my daughter take the train to Boston. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah. I can't go yeah. drive you and come back in time for my meeting because I am the chair today. I knew that. Well, thank so. you for doing that. Of course. So anything else we want to discuss? We did discuss something about you interviewing and uh, last meeting. Did you give it a thought? Uh, actually, she, we wanted to communicate together, but... It we, never happened? No. <laughs> okay. Do you want me to, do you have her, Adiola's contact information? Uh, no. I can share it with mm -hmm. you. Oh, okay, thank you. Because yeah. I think um, mm -hmm. anything that falls off the agenda, we forget after yeah. one or two meetings. So mm -hmm. if things are not on the agenda, yeah. We, f we really forget it. We have a million things to think about, right? Yeah. As, it's, as people, we are doing other things. So I think yeah. we should keep it on the agenda, whatever we have discussed, so that it does not fall off the agenda. Yeah. No, I think um, that's good. I think I think that made it into the minutes last time. I don't know that I put it to be on the agenda next time, but it was definitely in the minutes for It was in the week. minutes. Yeah. That's why I remember, because I read through it. <laughs> I'm like, okay, that is important because, you know, that like creates a good platform for... The uh, formatting of the minutes became a little bit, like, rushed towards the end of the September ones, but I have a format sheet now that tells me what is the appropriate way to format it, so it should be easier. That's good. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a learning for all of us. So, so we're ready to adjourn. So the meeting is adjourned. So, so I'll second... All in favor? All in favor? Aye. 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 Unanimously. Okay. You're adjourned. The meeting is adjourned. Thank you. Thank you, Sh